Hey V, you all right? <sighs> Let's do this. <sighs> you won't give out what this is. based and we have a lot of our covers you can see Geralt and you can even see just some of the awards the studio has picked up over the years but of course we have a new game coming out we are working on cyberpunk 2077 so um, we've just started our cyberpunk war hopefully uh, a couple more covers to come so you've got your passes uh, I think it's time to get inside the building and really show you around. Follow me. So we come up this, way. this is what we call our social space. So this is where people can come to relax. We've also got some different canteens in here as well where you can have your lunch. Um, if you look here, this palm tree, uh, this was actually at our Gamescom show floor booth and we actually bought it back on a truck and now it well, now it lives here. It just lives in the social space. Maybe coconuts one day, who knows? So this is a, just in case you didn't know where you were. Now, apparently, I don't know if it's true, but we've had this suit of armor since The Witcher 2, but uh, it now takes residence in the Gwent team. music and sound they're incredibly important elements to the games we make so I think I know exactly where we need to go on our next stop come on in My name is Marcin Przybułowicz, I'm a music director and composer here at CD Projekt Red. As, a new as you can see, I'm working on a music for Cyberpunk 2077 and specifically a uh, pretty intense narrative track for part of the game I can't tell you about, because no spoilers, you're gonna have to wait and see, uh, but I promise you it's gonna be rewarding. So in this room is our quest team and I think I have the perfect person for you to have a chat to, so come with me. Hi. Oh. Hello guys. Uh, nice to see you. So my name is Pablo Sasco, I'm a lead of the quest team and uh, we're working on Cyberpunk 2077 and in this Beautiful space, we have a quest team sitting there in the corner. Uh, we're building all the quests for you. And uh, our cinematic team, they are making sure that all the scenes are kicking ass. And our cinematic animations, uh, animators, who are making sure that all those animations are beautiful, perfectly done, and there's no twitching on any uh, of the fingers. Uh, and uh, I hope you will be playing the game at uh, 16th of April, uh, 2020. So our level designers work in this area and I have the perfect person for you to have a quick chat with. Come with me. Oh, 
Wow. <laughs> hey, um, I'm Miles Toast. I'm one of the level designers working on Cyberpunk 2077. And you can see it, but currently I'm working on refining some of the encounters that we have in our game. Because in Cyberpunk, you'll of course be facing lots of situations where you have to tackle enemies in many, many different ways. And I'm trying to make sure that you can use all the tools that we give you in a way that allows you to really shine. For example, right now I'm placing lots of devices, you know, that you can hack. Uh, I'm making sure that enemies have patrols in a way that you can sort of find your timing window and take them out in a cool way, and many, many more things. And I hope you'll be as excited as I am to work on this uh, when you can finally play the game. Hopefully my special guests will be able to meet you. Now a lot of the level team are working here. We also have a few other teams move around a lot as the studio has been growing with the course of Cyberpunk 2077. All right, are you ready? <laughs> so. One of the very best things for me working at City Project Red is that it's a dog-friendly office, which means everybody gets to bring their lovable little play friends into the office. And honestly, I just think it makes work a thousand times better. This is little Kimchi. Hey, Kimchi. Hey. Are you going to be a superstar? Are you a cyberpunk dog? We do have lots of creative people working here and they love to make models. So here are some of the final ones, which some of you will know are available, but also some things that you know, a bit work in progress. Anybody who has the Cyberpunk Collector's Edition on pre-order, well, you might remember this. It's one of the very early mock-ups of what was going to be included in the box. One more of the development route, so we're gonna try and be a little bit quiet and not disturb them, but come with me. I hope you've had an enjoyable time having a look inside what we do here at CD Project Red and of course chatting to some of our wonderful developers as well. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Everybody here at CD Project Red is incredibly grateful for all your ongoing support and we cannot wait for you to enjoy Cyberpunk 2077 when it launches April 16, 2020. Well, that's a story for another time. <laughs>